How many of you know what it means to effectively communicate? Well, in reality, effective communication is one of the means in establishing understanding and problem solving within communities, organizations, and in interpersonal relationships. Its significance cannot be overemphasized. As such, there are increasing studies we seek to figure out various ways of effective communication, particularly in higher education settings. As a college student myself, I can attest to the fact that the need for better communication between students and their professors is imperative. Which is why today we will explore what it means to effectively communicate with our professors. Then we'll examine the various methods of effective communication. And finally, we'll consider the value of effective and professional communication within the college setting. Now, considering the fact that we all interact in communicate with our professors on a daily basis, it's important to explain what effective communication is from the right perspective. According to Steve Jordan, who's a professor of psychology at the University of Toronto, effective communication from an educational viewpoint involves students who seek to acquire additional understanding or to just provide feedback in a professional, respectful manner. In reality, most instructors are happy to see you during their office hours to help clarify any misconceptions or to just talk for a few minutes after class. I mean, after all, they want to feel they're doing something more useful than just talking to an empty room. It is important to recognize, however, that our professors are experts in their respective fields and they deserve our respect. Giving our professors this respect in addition to communicating with them in a professional method is what will ultimately lead to the most effective results. Now, understanding what effective communication is in the higher education environment is the first step in the communication process. But grasping how to effectively communicate with our professors is where many students often fall short. According to US News, there are several guidelines that students should follow before um, interacting with their professors. Firstly, prepare before initiating the communication process. Whether you're planning to email a professor or attend their office hours, Make sure that you go over your notes on readings and lectures and write down a specific list of questions that, you, that, are you, that you're prepared to ask. You'll feel more comfortable, more prepared, and your instructors will appreciate you being organized. Additionally, it is imperative that you respect your professor's time. As we all know, in addition to teaching, many professors sit on committees, do research and other professional work, and have families and personal lives. So don't just show up two minutes before the end of office hours and expect your professor to assist you. Finally, being professional when talking to a professor and using your best communication skills are crucial to effectively interacting with them. You can be cordial and friendly, but keep it professional and on an, on an adult level. Come to office hours prepared with your questions and not just chat or joke around. And you must be prepared to accept criticism in a professional way without taking it personally or complaining. And finally, use scholarly diction to convey your ideas and information clearly, as your professors will take you more seriously. This ultimately leads us to our final point, which is the value of effective and professional communication. College students are sometimes surprised to discover that instructors have more to offer than just information. In fact, communicating with our professors and establishing relationships with them can be tremendously valuable to our futures. For instance, talking with, a, talking with an instructor is a valuable way to learn about an academic field or a career. As someone who initially did not know what to major in going into college, my professors have been extremely valuable in sharing information and insights with me to help me choose a career that I will most enjoy. Additionally, you may be needing a, you may need a reference letter or a letter of recommendation for a job or internship application. Getting to know some of your instructors puts you in an ideal position to ask for that letter of recommendation or reference in the future when you need it the most. So, in conclusion, we've explored what effective communication is and how to implement it. Additionally, we've discovered that effective communication with our professors is not only beneficial to our educational journey, but to our personal lives as well. In the end, I leave you with a quote with, I leave you with a quote from Tony Robbins, which states, to effectively communicate, we must realize that we are all different in the way we perceive the world. 
and we must use his understanding as a guide to our communication with others. Thank you.